When you were first recruiting guys here, you had to sell them on the fact that they were coming into a program with some difficult situations. Now the guys you're recruiting come in and they see back-to-back New Year's Six Bowls, a Big Ten championship. Has that changed the message from you to them no, at all? I, I wouldn't say it's changed the message, but instead of us selling a dream um, that had not come into reality yet, I think people see it, they feel it, they see it, um, so that helps. And I would say we probably get less tough questions. You know, when, when we got here, as we've talked about before in the past, we would get some tough questions. Um, and for the most part, we would, you know, we would answer the, the questions very direct and, and transparent, and, and people usually were pretty comfortable with that and moved on. But we, I think that's probably the biggest difference. We get less of those tough questions that we used to get when we first got here. Is that a, is that, I was going to say, is that a relief on your part that you're able to recruit now without having to worry about tough questions? Is it that you're judged solely on the merits of your program now? I think that, I think that helps. I mean, you, obviously you prefer to be talking about things that you have control over. You know, our graduation rates, um, the success of the guys on the field, our total development of our players. Um, you know, talking about the NFL, talking about graduation rates, all those types of things, uh, rather than things that are outside of your control or outside of your time frame. James, you have a uh, number of Philadelphia area players on your team. Uh, the state has always been very good about players, and but I'm curious if whether you believe Philadelphia is now producing more players and more Division I prospects. I mean, we just saw some guys from Philadelphia drafted in this NFL draft. Have you seen an uptick in the talent level in the city of Philadelphia? And where are you from? Philadelphia. The best. <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. No, seriously, uh, you know, obviously I grew up just outside, um, you know, about, you know, about 15, 20 minutes from Center City, Philadelphia. So, um, you know, this area I think has always been you know, very, very strong and, and the high school football has been always very well respected and obviously where you have the highest population, you know, when you talk about Philadelphia, you talk about Harrisburg, you talk about Pittsburgh for the state, um, that's no different than all across the country. You're going to have the best opportunities, but what you've seen is you've seen certain programs that have really done a good job. They've been able to keep their coaches for long periods periods of time. They've played winning football. They've t taught really good fundamentals and techniques, and then strong academics. So you kind of get a combination of all those types of things, um, which I think are important. Important for the game at the high school level, and important for us from a recruiting perspective. So, um, you know, it's been it's been uh, it's been important for us. I think we did a very good job early on identifying some kids that we wanted in our program from all different backgrounds and all different perspectives. And for the most part, those guys, you know, you look at our, our Philadelphia players, you know, they've, they've had significant contributions for us. The biggest difference is between coaching this team and the last team? Well, one of the things that I've been, I already kind of sent some notes kind of in the car drive and sent, sent some notes to some people. So when we go on our staff retreat, things that we're going to have some discussions and it kind of hit me the other day I was reading something that Jason Cabinda was quoted on talking about and you know Jason Cabinda and the Mike Kosicki's and those guys those guys have been through a lot of adversity you know as as a program they've been through a lot of adversity individually um, they had to overcome stuff they had to work through things and we well, have to be careful when you have a couple of seasons in a row you're going to have a portion of your team that maybe hasn't been through that adversity. So making sure that our team is mature enough to handle that and don't feel like winning is just a birthright at Penn State because it's not. So getting our guys to understand the type of sacrifice, the type of investment that they're going to have to make. And also the thing that I think it's the most challenging thing to do with 18, 22 year old young men is it's not just good enough to work hard. The programs we're competing against are all working really hard. So how are we going to differentiate ourselves? Are we working harder? Are we working smarter? Are we working longer? Well, what are we doing to differentiate ourselves? And I think that's, you know, I think what is an important lesson for our guys to learn because that's the same thing they're going to have to do for the rest of their lives when they're interviewing for jobs and, and things like that.